Hey guys, I'm Coco. Welcome back to the Long Dark Special. We are exploring the Forlorn Muskeg, the newly added region in the latest update. And uh, how are we doing? We are in the Old Spence homestead. Uh, we are very tired, very thirsty, very hungry. But we are kind of warm, so that's good. I uh, don't have much to eat, so let's eat that moldy chocolate bar. So, um,. In my off time, I've been I've been playing in the Forlorn Muskeg a bit. Okay, we have 25 minutes here. I've been playing a bit, um, and I've survived in uh, in Forlorn Muskeg for roughly four days. And on fifth day, I ran the shit out of this hellhole. <laughs> it's horrible. It's just horrible being here. It really is. Oh boy. Uh, that's gonna make us part. That's fine. Um, so what I'm talking about here. This, the shelters, it's not easy to find. Shelter, certainly not easy to find. There is not much of any kinds of, I don't know, natural, natural shelters. There are some caves up in the hills where you can find coal as well. But basically, through the day, you might get through it and be fine if you're, if you're just stuck in a cave. But through the night, you need to have the fire burning all the time while you sleep. Or else, you know, or else. It's not gonna be good for you. Certainly not gonna be good for you. Also, there's not many places that you can loot for clothes. There's some wolfies around. I think we have them right here. That's fine. So, that is another consideration that you have to, you know, pay in mind. Uh, did not loot this last time. Or some rifle ammo. Good. Also, there's no weapons whatsoever that I could find. Uh, there might be... Like a bow or something. There's a. Um... Oh, my fire is going out. Oh boy. Oh oh, don't do that. Uh, there's a like an old lookout. Let's add this old uh, hunter lookout that you can find. I only saw it from a distance. I haven't been there. I do plan on going there um, in this run, just to see, just to see what can we find there. Uh, but there might be a weapon. At least I'm hoping it could be, but otherwise I haven't found any weapons whatsoever anyway. Let's add some coal, let's some, add some cedar firewood, let's get the fire going. I know I'm very tired, I'm drained, but I do want to go break down some of these boxes. We don't have any tools, but you know, I'm not breaking it down for um, wood, but we're breaking it down for this. Look at that, dog food, good. So if this persists... Uh, it was the same last time when I was just playing here. When I broke down a bunch of these, uh, I got good stuff. Oh boy. Looks like it's tornado outside. Only minus 6. Minus 17 now. So it's not too bad the way it's windy. But yeah, this is a very windy region. <clears throat> so yeah. Um, last time I was playing on the, in here, on, you know, as I said, on my own playthrough, I did find... A bunch of tools in this in this areas, but here no tools whatsoever besides hacksaw. That's all we have found so far. So not the greatest. Not the greatest. Um, since we do have fire going on and we still have our daylight, uh, we cannot really. Oh, we can cook. Let's cook some tea, please and thank you. Just gonna cook some tea. Just gonna drink some tea. Why not? Let's drink some of that, and uh, we do want more. We do want more uh, water. That's what we need. Uh, hopefully, you can hear me well. I'm trying to speak over this horrible, windy situation here, but you should be able to, right? You should be able to. Okay. Drained, but it's 41 degrees here, so I'm very, very hot. We need to go to sleep. Uh, so that means we need to add a bunch of wood here. Okay, uh, let's add some more so I can sleep for five hours now. Good. Are we thirsty? A bit. A bit thirsty, so let's drink the tea we have. It's cold already? Well, who cares? Should be still fine. It's gonna give us some calories. Uh, up here it's still 36 degrees, so let's sleep for five hours. And we're gonna wake up in darkness. There should be still the fire going for like a half an hour, which is good for us. <laughs> and in the morning, hopefully, if there's not gonna be... Okay, six hours of nighttime remaining. It means the wind has calmed down a bit. Good. 
We are winded still, but you know, we have to have the fire going on through the night or else or else we might start freezing. Let's see. Only minus twelve right now. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. That's not too bad. So we're gonna explore a bit um, in the morning. As we've seen um, last time, there were wolves in that direction, blocking us from burned out houses. But uh, there are some uh, caves up in the hills, which we can possibly check by avoiding uh, the wolves. So I'm hoping to do so. I'll just add lots of this plain wood since we do have a bunch and drop one more coal on. That's going to be four more hours of sleep for us. Good enough. As you can see, Furnace is really heating up. I mean, standing next to a hundred degrees uh, Furnace probably would be a bit, uh, a bit, a bit, at least, uh, horrible to be here. You know, overheating, totally not a problem, right? Eat the dog food. Oh, we only can smash the can. That's unfortunate. We don't even have a can opener. Ugh. Great. 29% uh, was lost. Well, what can you do, right? Well, we need at least eat something. We need to drink as well, so let's do so. And then we can sleep for four hours. That should get us good enough. Not that tired. Four, I said. We are not the greatest in calorie store, sure, that is to be expected, to be honest. Uh, there's not much food to be found here. Basically, the cat tails, it's what you can eat. That's your primary means of food consumption, is those cat tails. But there are a lot of them, at least. Uh, just put some more cedar stuff on. Cedar! Put some cedar, add fuel. Good, that's for two hours. Um, we're gonna melt more snow. We do need that. I'm getting hungry here. Mm. Not good. Not good. Let's boil some water. Made it through another night. Yeah, we did. Good job. Well, it's not gonna be too pleasant outside, to say the least. It's minus 14 right now. Mm-mm. Not gonna go explore yet. We're gonna do some more. Uh... No, don't go up, please. Go down. We're gonna do some more uh, breaking of crates here. This one, another hour. So let's do so. It's gonna make me exhausted because you can see there's a safe back here, which I did learn how to open it now. At least, well, I haven't tried this one. I tried one in Trapper's Homestead. So that's one. Uh, 53 minutes on this one. That's fine. Do we have any books to learn? We don't. So you know what? Right now, just eat this granola bar. Very nice. And we're gonna eat some of these. Sure, it takes a while to eat them. <clears throat> they're not really filling, but they're edible and they give us some calories. Uh, uh, if I can find a can opener or at least a tool that I can open the cans with, so at least I don't have to smash them. You know, that would be great. So we don't lose. Oh, I should drink as well. So we don't lose a lot here. That would be the best. Um, you know what? Probably we'll let this burn out. Let's see. Let's add like a couple of sticks. So we get. Oh, I did add a fuel. Great. Well, that's fine. Uh, because I want to go smash that last one here. There might be something underneath this crate. Oh, one hour and 30 minutes. Well, it's gonna be fine. Good. There's nothing here, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I think there should be something uh, beneath that crate up top. Oh! Oh! Look at that! Survive the outdoors. With information on wilderness survival. Fire starting skill. Ooh, we need to do that. Yeah, we do need to do that. So, four minutes of that, how are we doing on uh, fire making skills if we have to make one? Uh, let's check this. Do have an option to make fire, which is the important part. It sounds very windy outside. Minus 21, indeed. That's the greatest. That's something we wanted. So, not the best, not the best time to go outside. Probably way better to just stay inside... Uh, next to the steel worm furnace which 
has now gone out, but it's somehow still warm. Somehow this is still warm. That's good. Well, stay here and let's see what happens if we research this for one hour. Oh yeah, we're gonna get cold now. It's minus 10 here. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, but the winds are crazy outside, so you know what? We're gonna make some fire again. We gonna start some fire. I don't wanna go out in this crazy winds yet. Although we have to, probably. Yeah, use the wood matches. Um, 60% chance. I'm not gonna burn that. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. 60% chance, let's take it. Let's take it. Let's see if we can survive. She's she's kind of getting cold. Probably just chilled right now, but still, she's not too happy about it. Uh, on, if there would be no wind, this would be great. Of course, we failed another 60% as usual. I'm not even surprised anymore. Come on, let's start a fire, please. Let's do it. We're gonna put some more coal on. So basically what happens in Forlorn Muskeg is slowly but surely you run out of uh, stuff to burn and stuff to eat. So it's not a place where you can survive for a long time, I should say. It's not a long time survival option. That didn't God damn it. Again, you're doing this to me again. And you're burning all of our wood. It's not like we have anything here that would burn faster. I'm not gonna burn my I'm book. I just want this fire to start burning, then we can go break up the box upstairs, which in my uh, first try did contain uh, some fire strikers and some accelerants. So if you can get that, that's gonna save our life, definitely. So let's hope that happens. And we're gonna start a fire, we're gonna... Wait, that didn't work. Ugh, three times 60% in a row, I hate you game, I hate you right now. Just start a freaking fire, come on. You can do it, you can do it. Don't do this to me again, okay? Don't do this to me again. 60%, three times in a row, failed it. Let's see if we can do it on fourth time. So far my best trick is missing it five times in a row. So let's see how this works. For Lord Muskic really does not want to burn. Does not want to burn at all. And the crows are beeping in the distance. Come on, let's do it, let's do it. You can do it, you can do it. Mm, fire! Yes! Yes! We did it! We did it! Okay. Good job. Oh boy. Um, flame wood. Just add some of this shit. Coal can be added when? 22 minutes? Sure, we'll do that at some point. For now, that's fine. It's fine. This is gonna take 1 hour and 30 minutes. We do have enough worm for that. Uh, I am ravenous. There we go. Here's a fire striker, as I said. It's not in the best condition. So, accelerant. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's see. We are ravenous and very thirsty. So, let's go ahead and eat something. Um, string this. And we're gonna eat those. I don't wanna smash the thing is. Not yet, at least. As long as we can get some uh, calories from this Cattail stalks, I'm gonna eat them. I'm gonna eat them. But yeah, it's very windy outside. At least we are warm now, so I still wanna go out and explore. Even though it might not be the best idea right now. I might, you know, I might lose some condition. That's fine. Lose some condition. On our way, I'll take one of these with me. We're still gonna burn for 39 minutes. Well, at least that's gonna give us some time to melt some snow. So let's do so. Let's melt some snow and we're gonna boil some snow. I'm getting a bit tired. It's fine. Survive. Survive. Let's boil it. We can. We can do so. Right? We do have time. We do have time. Good. Even though the fire is gonna go out soon. At least we now have accelerants and a fire striker. So how does it feel outside? Minus five here. Minus five only. Good. I like it. Let's go explore. Eight hours of daylight left. <clears throat> Time to go exploring, boys and girls. Can't even sprint. It's gonna make us tired, though. Uh, there's some more reclaimed wood, which we can pick up at some point. Um, there's that corpse. Is that a deer corpse? I don't remember. I think we have seen a corpse and we couldn't pick it up. Yeah, that's a deer corpse. 
Now we can. We do have a hacksaw now, right? We do have a hacksaw. We can deal with it. It's gonna take a while, I'm sure. But you know what? Butchers use hacksaws all the time. Well, at least those that I, I know. I don't know how it, how it happens in the modern mass industry of uh, producing stuff. But when you butcher, uh, I don't know, pig back at home, you use the hacksaw to, you know, tear them apart. So let's see, hacksaw, we can get a bit of meat. Sure, in seven minutes, let's do that. Let's get some meat. That's something we can cook and we can eat good stuff. Um, we're not gonna grab these. Thank you. Not gonna grab these. Thank you very much. Uh, let's not get thrown around. I still want to go check on the burnout houses and uh, see what we can find there. Hopefully, there's gonna be no wolfsies. Uh, so when I was playing uh, on my off time, I went from uh, this homestead. I went back to uh, to the overturned overturned trail carts. Back trail carts? You know, rail carts. Whatever back there. Uh, wolves are still there. Okay, so let's ignore that. So I went there and uh, I was hoping to find some food because I was starving. And uh, there was a bit of food but not enough to make me not starve anymore. And um, when I was trying to leave I wanted to just sprint down the tracks to get uh, just out of this hole and uh, out of this hell hole into the mystery lake and of course there was a bear outside and there was a wolf outside so that's great the bear actually in the end wandered off but the wolf was just keeping outside and growling so in the end i finally managed to make a fire and take take a brand and uh, after some time i managed to scare him off and then just sprinted i just bolted and sprinted down the tracks hungry ravenous and i finally came down to mystery lake which was oh god moment it was so good getting out of this hellhole, <laughs> getting down to Mystery Lake. It was so good, but then you know, of course, when I come out in Mystery Lake, there was a there was a wolf waiting for me on the other side, right away. But I managed to escape him, and then I managed to get to the uh, office, the lake office, which gave me some shelter, some food finally. And you know what? Now that run is going well. I am exploring I am exploring the Mystery Lake on that one. So I know a lot more about Mystery Lake now than I did before. Um, also, also uh, I was trying to find a weapon. I still don't have a weapon there and I'm almost at 10 days survive. Uh, I was trying to find a weapon. That's why I, in the end, went for the Trapper's Homestead. Which is somewhere where we spawn next to in our uh, Mystery Lake game. Is there a wolf there? That seems like a wolf, right? Oh, it looks like a wolf. It must be a wolf. Pretty sure it's a wolf. Bastard. Let's not go. Let's not go close to him. Okay, great. So we are beset by wolves on all sides. Good. I was trying to go this way because I know there's a cave up there, which is something where we can uh, hopefully find some more coal. So what can we do now? Not much, but stay here. There's not much to scavenge around here since we've, did, we've done the scavenging already. So yeah, on my other run I went to the Trapper's Homestead. Or Trapper's something. I don't know exactly how it's called, but yeah. I went there, I was hoping to find a rifle. Got beset by wolves while I was going there. Did manage to fight them off, but of course there was no gun there. I mean, seriously, what kind of hunter you are? There's no gun there. So yeah, I'm stuck there now. I'll go... Uh, look farther see if we can find some guns some weapons something at least uh it's minus three only this would be the best time to go ahead and explore apparently flying uh, birds above mean that there's gonna be a storm coming which is something not looking very you know not looking forward to more storm because this is beset by heavy winds this place for lower musket yeah it is quite forlorn Lots of bad stuff going on here. Mm -hmm. Okay, we do have wood. We do have means to survive here. What we don't have is any tools that we could open up um, our uh, dog food with. So we can eat it. And, you know, we don't really have any means to get more food. 
Although we did get some meat which we can cook, but that's not gonna be a lot of, not gonna be a ton of calories, just because it's less than a, a kilo of meat. So that's not the greatest. And I don't wanna stay stuck in here. I wanna go out and explore a bit more. But with nothing to fight the walls off, that would be horrible. We don't even have any flares. Oh, come on. That's horrible. I'm just looking here if we missed something by any chance. Or if we can find some uh, cattail stalks to eat. There's some there. Let's go pick them up. And there's an old man's beard we can gather there. Okay, we're gonna do so. Um, might as well finish the episode here as well, and uh, we can continue. We can continue on next time. This is like a great stretch of eyes. Uh, it's run, it's sprint. There might be weak eyes, it's not. Okay, getting tired, that's fine. Okay, let's finish the episode here, and next time we're gonna hopefully explore a bit more of this. Uh, there's a dead person there. Good, we need to search that. But yeah, for now, take care for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please consider dropping a comment down below. If you like, subscribe, and see more do magic. And I'll see you next time. Coco out.